Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas. It really is the thick of Christmas. We are about one week away from the big day, December 25th. And as you can see in the background, I've only gotten started decorating my tree. Um, but I'm excited to share something with you. Uh, this episode, this particular episode is a DIY tutorial on how to make these hand-painted uh, hydro dipped ornaments. I just learned how to do hydro dipping uh, via YouTube, learning how there's a ton of tutorials online. But what I did was I kind of watched everything and got all the big pointers about how to hydro dip things properly. And I'm going to share that with you with this tutorial on this video. And I'm going to show you how I went about making these ornaments. The great thing about hydro dipped ornaments or hydro dipped anything is the process is completely unique and once you do the process and you dip them into the paint, you get a completely unique one of a kind ornament that is always going to be just yours, nowhere else. This is one of the examples that I painted, uh, hydro dip painted. It's basically spray painting into a bucket of water with enamel spray paint and then you swirl it around and then you dip it in a certain way and it just gets picked up onto the surface of whatever you are painting like this Christmas ball right here that will go on my tree. Some of the balls are already on the tree as you can see. So the great thing too is you can customize and paint them in different colors. Mine, I just chose to do this blue and gold and white theme, but you could totally paint it your own way. And I'll show you some different examples with different paint colors uh, that I was able to produce, but uh, I just love this. This is my new favorite thing to do uh, for the holidays. And I just love the extra twist on ornaments. You see that, how it looks so cool? just adds a different take on the traditional generic Christmas ball ornament. Shatterproof, uh, I'm using shatterproof plastic. And uh, yeah, it just adds a nice customized twist to your holiday decorating. So without further ado, stay tuned. Right next is the tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna start out using this large shatterproof ornament. In hindsight, I wouldn't use red anymore because I found that the red uh, coat of paint tends to bleed through this white primer that I'm going to spray paint all the balls with. I use an uh, enamel spray paint uh, that helps. Uh, it has more flexibility. And so my first step with this particular uh, painting is to have a enamel coating of white primer first. So evenly coat the balls and then make sure it's fully covered. So that's what I'm doing right here with this red ball. Again, an enamel spray paint is best in whatever color combinations you want. I'm starting out with a base of white primer and then it takes about like 15 minutes to dry. So now I'm going to take a bucket of water here and fill it up. I just put in some warm water to mix with the regular uh, tap water. And then you spray into the water all the different colors that you want. I started with a white primer and then I'm going with a dark midnight blue that had some like sparkle in it embedded into the paint and spray it in different directions so you get a nice different swirl of a pattern. And then I'm going to do my metallic uh, gold here. Again, different angles so you achieve a different pattern. It's almost like a marbleized effect that you're going to get. Then you're going to take the ball and dip it in at a 45 degree angle, very slow. And before you pull it out, after submerging it, you kind of have to splish splash the water around to break the paint. Uh, film before you pull it out. As you can see a large ball like this it probably only covered half the ball so you have to go with a second pass to get that side that wasn't really painted. So repeat the process again, swirl the water around before you, sh before you paint 
Uh, and then, yeah, just random different uh, colors again. Uh, in random order, I mean. And uh, I do the white, gold, and the blue together. And just keep layering on into the water until you get this nice pattern that you start to see emerge. And I'm going to dip it in again. Submerge it all the way in. Then splish splash the water around. There you go. And there's the second pass. And it blends in with the first pass. Repeating the process again with the next ball. And you'll see another unique pattern comes out. Repeat the process again. You can do different orders of the color successions. I did that in reverse now with the white primer. Just have fun with it. And then sometimes when I dip the ball in, I don't splish splash the water around uh, and I just get a second layer of pattern. You just have to kind of like be open to having a unique uh, outcome. I'm doing another layer of gold because I felt like another layer of gold was necessary for this ball. I wouldn't do too many passes, more than two passes into the water because then it starts to look a little messy when the paint comes onto the ball. I'm doing a smaller ball now and see how I did a little bit of a quarter turn when I dipped the ball in, just so you get a little bit, a little bit of that swirl. And you see that happening on this ball. So that's another tip. And here is the finished product. Dipped a number of them in and each of them are unique and one of a kind and just a wonderful combination of the different colors that you used. I like this because this was my color theme of blue, gold and white, but you can totally change the patterns uh, with the different colors of paint. I didn't prime this ball. This ball is just gold, a satin gold, and I just decided to put pink and blue over it, dip it in without priming it, and that's the look that I got. Also pretty cool. Here's one I did of a combination of white primer, uh, pink, and gold. And here's some ornaments that are just silver and gold combo with a white primer base that I made for a friend. She specifically requested this color combination. Here are my blue painted ornaments, my hydro dipped ornaments now included with my mom's Christmas tree. Look at the beautiful patterns, totally blends in well. This is my tree now uh, with its jewel tone color theme. And uh, it's also a nativity themed tree. I really hope you give this hydro dip uh, painting technique a try for your ornaments. Um, they've just brought me so much joy for this particular Christmas. Uh, I was getting kind of bored with all the ornaments that you could get, you know, generic at the stores. And here's just a chance to make something unique of your own. Just for you. Merry Christmas.